I'm so glad that you clicked on this video because lucky for you, I'm going to share with you three tips for a healthy scalp. Before we get into this video, let me introduce myself. What is up you guys? It's your girl Jen. Welcome to my YouTube channel if you are new here and welcome back to my channel for those of you who aren't new here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you guys do not miss out on any future videos and you click that bell as well so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. So a healthy scalp is a foundation for healthy hair growth. It provides the best environment for your hair follicles to thrive. A poorly maintained scalp can lead to hair loss or thinning and clogged follicles, which can weaken your hair, as well as dandruff that can trigger breakage and an itchy scalp, which is something, to be honest, that I have been struggling with. Before I recently got my crow cut, my scalp, you guys, was in was itchy to the max and i've always had dandruff as well um but i feel like the dandruff wasn't that bad but my scalp was just like dry and just like super itchy and this is not just for curly hair this is for any hair type it doesn't matter like you can have straight hair and have a really dry scalp or lots of dandruff so number one tip for a healthy scalp you need to hydrate and i don't mean like water your hair like it's a plant you don't want to over wash your hair and no <laughs> i literally mean hydrate like drink your water drink your electrolytes like you want to stay hydrated that is key and not just your scalp it's literally your overall health so yes hydrate is tip number one tip number two exfoliate exfoliating removes buildup and makes way for new hair so buildup a lot of it is from hair product and you do eventually have to wash your hair out like hair product is good for styling your hair but whatever little particles like dust whatever is in the air tends to mix in your hair so on top of your hair product that you already have you're exposed to air like you can't like not be exposed to air and so your hair starts to trap in whatever that there is in the air that you can't see there's air is polluted it's not clean so you want to exfoliate that you want to make sure you get like a scrub something that just gets in there tip number three use a clarifying shampoo a good shampoo cleanses build up and allows hair follicles to breathe the next clips that follow are me showing you what products i am using for my scalp care I also threw in there like hair treatment and then deep conditioning. One last thing before moving on. I also styled my hair with an affordable product that I did not show in this in the following clips. I didn't record myself styling my hair using this product but after these clips that you see I'm still gonna be here and I'm gonna share with you the product that I currently have in my hair. All right so let's hop right in. So I'm starting off with making sure my hair is thoroughly wet and then I'm gonna go in with this Rizos Curls Detox scalp scrub what i love about this scrub is that it's very gentle it's not so harsh and it just feels so refreshing on my scalp and i like to focus on getting the areas first that tend to give me like the most itchiness and i like to make sure i target those areas first of course i'm going to target my whole scalp but that's my main concern when starting and then i just kind of go with the rest of my scalp this scrub is not just for curly hair i do want to state that it's great for all hair types especially if you have like a dry itchy and oily scalp like this is for you so now i'm just going in with my scalp massaging brush and this is so helpful to get all the areas and it just feels so good on my scalp like i love it um but it really helps to get all the areas that i have missed and just really like get in there I also wanted to mention that this product is also vegan and cruelty free. So before moving on to my next product, I just want to make sure that I get all this product out of my hair. As you can see, it is super soapy and I just want to make sure it's all out before I move on to the next step. Next, I'm taking my Inner Sense Hydrating Cream Hair Bath Shampoo. And this is specifically for coarse, damaged, or thirsty hair. And my hair is coarse and very thirsty. So I love this shampoo. It's very gentle. It's hydrating, nourishing for dry scalps like mine. It is vegan, cruelty-free, and it is gluten-free. The three key ingredients are shea butter, 
tamanu oil i don't know if i'm saying that right and avocado oil this shampoo is also great for all hair types okay it's not just curly hair once i'm done rinsing this product out of my hair i'm gonna go in and detangle my hair it is normal if it seems like you're losing hair that is just all the hair that was just caught up in there that you need to get out next i'm gonna wrap my hair up and i was just so excited to show you guys my new towel that i purchased this is a bounce curl beach hair beach towel i guess and yeah i just freaking love it and i got the beach towel because i tend to grow my hair out a lot so i'm all done with my scalp treatment now i'm going in with my hair treatment and the treatment that i'm using is the curl smith bond curl rehab salve and it's an intense bonding treatment loaded with amino acids that will help repair hydrate and protect your hair against damages so i really like to thoroughly distribute this product in my hair like literally every inch of my hair and the areas that i really like to focus the most on are going to be like the crown of my head like that is where i have the most frizz and as you guys saw that's where i have like the most breakage so i like to really focus on that area so once I target all the areas that I really want to target with this product, I am going to clip my hair up and let this product sit in my hair for about 30 minutes. And then I'll come back and rinse this product out of my hair. You can leave your hair down with this product. You can clip your hair up, tie it up, or you could also put your hair in a cap after 30 minutes i went ahead and rinsed this product out and now i'm taking my curl smith hydro cream soothing mask and this is a deep conditioner for all curl types it says but i'm sh pretty sure you could use this for any type of hair and this mask is a soothing deep conditioning treatment that delivers moisture to scalp and hair without weighing it down when applying this product i really focused on getting in my hair like i sectioned my hair as if i was applying a styling product because my hair is dry from the roots now i'm going to leave this in my hair for 30 minutes and then i'm going to go ahead and rinse out my hair now your girl is good to go to style my hair so in my basics to styling curly hair video someone commented saying that they loved the products that i was using but that it was a little bit on the higher end side so i did go to target and i purchased a more actually really affordable hair curly hair product which is what i use to style my hair if you guys want me to film a video please comment down below using this product that i'm about to show you because i didn't feel myself i just wanted to test it out so i didn't feel myself applying this product in my hair i just wanted to see like how you know i'm kind of iffy and like when it comes to like products on the more affordable end because there have been many that i've tried before and i that's why i stopped like with the affordable but i feel like a lot of them now like the drugstore ones like at target a lot of them are also at Ulta. Their pricing is about the same. I don't know, I mean, maybe you, you're in a different state and, and it's more affordable. I don't know how it works, but like I'm in California, so I feel like products are pretty similar, are not that often priced. It's like there are some products that some of you may say are a little bit or like on the higher end side that I will probably show you like in another video, but they're around, I believe $20, which can seem pricey. And especially from when I first started my curly hair journey, like products went up in price so much. And I eventually got to a point where I just felt like drugstore products weren't worth it because I can just spend five more bucks and get like a higher end product that I know won't do my hair dirty. You get what I'm saying? Inner Sense is a bit pricier. I do know another brand I can show you guys, or if you guys know of any, like please comment down below and recommend me some other products that you know that are good at Ulta but are not as high as Inner Sense. Or if you do want me to go a little bit higher end, like to test out another brand, I will do that as well, just for the sake of these videos for you guys. So this is the brand, um, Mark anthony strictly curls it's the curl envy cream i purchased this you guys this okay this was insanely affordable okay and for the results i will share with you guys my opinion this product right here was eight dollars and i'm just like what the heck that's too cheap right and it is in the area that is locked at um target so it just kind of makes you think like why is it locked it must be good 
right? There was another brand. I feel like there's not that many brands though. I only found like three. And I feel like they didn't have like a full collection, like a full line. I don't know if it's just the Target that I went to because I actually didn't check another Target. I went on the website and this product says you just use this alone. So I was just kind of like, there's no like base, right? Like leave-in conditioner or like a gel, I'm not gonna need one. But yeah, I guess you don't need that and you just apply it by itself, which is what I did. And I guess for the price, not bad. These are my results right here. I styled my hair after doing my scalp treatment. My results are pretty good. I do feel like my hair is a little bit weighed down. It's not as round. I do want to say my hair is pretty dull. I hate that this camera is not picking up. Like I need different lighting like closer right here or something because I want you guys to pick up like my shine. Like why isn't the camera picking up my shine? It's kind of annoying, but my hair is actually pretty dull. There might be a little bit of shine there. It's like very little, but it's dull. You want to say if you are more cautious about the ingredients, this one does have a lot of ingredients. Okay. So like I said, I get this for like emergency purposes. Okay. Like style my hair, whatever. Okay. This is a difference. What I've noticed with like the more higher end brands that I've used on my hair compared to the drugstore ones, the more affordable ones. What I've noticed is that they can be good at styling or they can like not be good at styling your hair. They don't nourish your hair. Like I feel like my my hair, it's not it's not getting nourished with with this kind of product. Like I can feel it. If I if I use this product like on a daily, I just feel like I'm going to do more damage to my hair. So if you are cautious about ingredients, um, like I said, I kind of am, but to use like daily, I would not use this in my hair. Um, I can just feel it. Like my hair doesn't feel like so nourished. It did a good job styling my hair, but it doesn't feel nourished. And I think that's also, my hair does feel dry. I will say that it feels dry. So it feels dry and it looks a bit more on the dry side, like dull. I would probably add an oil. All right, so let me know what you guys think about this video. My scalp care tips and products that I use and then my hair treatment products and deep conditioner and now this a styling product. You guys let me know what you think, please. If you want a video of me showing you, but with the leave-in conditioner and the gel with this product, I can do that. If not, we can move on to another brand that you probably want me to test out. Just to remind you guys, my hair is different than your hair, I'm sure, unless it's a little bit similar, but it's still different. So how my hair turns out with these products is how my hair turns out. You'll never find out if a product works on your hair if you don't try it out right let me know what you guys think thank you so much for watching and i will catch you guys in my next video